Have you ever wondered how web content gets displayed within Android apps? You're in the right place. In this video, we'll dive deep into what WebView is, when you should use it, and the pros and cons of using it in your Android app. We'll also discuss the best approach to using WebView in your projects. So, let's jump right in. First, let's talk about what WebView actually is. At its core, WebView is a component that allows you to display web content directly within your Android app. It's essentially a mini browser that runs inside your app, enabling you to load web pages and interact with them without switching to an external browser. Now, WebView isn't just a simple viewer. It uses the Blink rendering engine and the V8 JavaScript engine, just like Google Chrome. This means you get the same powerful rendering and JavaScript performance that you would expect from a full-fledged browser, but contained within your app. When should you use WebView? There are many scenarios where WebView can be useful. For example, you might want to display a help page or a terms of service agreement within your app. Or you might need to show a web-based form for user input. WebView is also great for embedding web content like maps, videos, or social media feeds directly into your app. Pros and cons of WebView There are several benefits to using WebView. It's easy to integrate into your app, and it allows you to reuse existing web content without having to rewrite it for Android. WebView also gives you more control over the user experience, as you can customize the appearance and behavior of the web content to match your app's design. In case of any bugs or issues, you can easily update the web content without having to release a new version of your app. However, there are some drawbacks to be aware of. WebView can be slower than a native implementation, especially for complex web pages. The user experience differs from native UI components and might not be as smooth. It also requires an internet connection to load web content, which may not always be available. While there are solutions like caching web content for offline use, WebView can introduce security risks if not used properly. So, be cautious when loading external content. Should you use WebView in your app? Well, the answer really depends on your specific use case. If you're running quick experiments or testing new features, WebView can be a fantastic choice. It's easy to update the content without needing to release a new version of your app. But what if you need a hardware feature like the camera or GPS? WebView doesn't support these features out of the box, so you'll need to use native components instead. So, what's the best approach? I would recommend a hybrid one. Use WebView for displaying less used content and native components for interactive features. This way, you get the best of both worlds. For instance, if you're building an e-commerce app, you can use native components for the home screen, product listings, and product details. These parts need to be fast and responsive since users interact with them frequently and crucial for the app's success. On the other hand, use WebView for pages like the profile, order history, and terms of service. These pages are less frequently used and can be updated easily without releasing a new version of the app. In conclusion, WebView is a powerful tool for displaying web content within your Android app. It's easy to use and allows you to reuse existing web content without much effort. However, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution and you need to consider the pros and cons before deciding whether to use it in your app. We hope this video has helped you understand what WebView is and how it can be used in your projects. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.